Hello everyone, I'm Greg Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 341 of Factorio with Angels and Bob's Mods, where we are working on redesigning a fluid processing base, and just trying to figure out how we would want to organize this with just robots and barreling pumps. So I've been thinking about what sort of shapes we would need. I mean, the most basic would be something like this, right? But what can we actually fit in there? We can fit in a barreling pump and then a, a chemical plant. And if we have solid inputs and outputs, this is fine. But no liquid outputs from this. Though we could copy this around as much as we want. Then we could have a bigger version. Like this, and we could do something similar there. But I think this is just going to be so different. If we wanted to do this, we would stick all of these, this size uh, blueprint on top of each other, and these on top of each other. And at that point, we. Well, it feels like we're just doing the same thing as up here, except that we're just mixing buildings. So why do we even need to have vertical, no sorry, horizontal uh, beacons? Maybe we should just... I'm still gonna use this for size. So maybe we should just have columns of very small things that can fit in there slightly larger things that can fit in there, and then maybe even very large things that can fit in here. Not sure if this will be needed. We shall see. I mean, three inputs and three outputs to a very large building. Or two inputs and four outputs in this case. This can't actually even be here. But we shall see as we go. I think we're just gonna start with the two small ones. Well, we shall see actually, because we are gonna start with oil. And oil refineries are quite large. But this seems. Is that easier? No, that's not. So we do need the larger one. Okay. You are gonna come over here. You're gonna move up a little bit further. So the inputs from over here. Actually, we should not keep or let these have outgoing lines. Because then they might connect with anything else we put in this column. So what would we want to do here? I think we need this to start everything off. But let's also just have a look at the natural gas stuff with the oil gas separator. This only have one input. Raw gas, gas condensates for wastewater. Raw gas, crude oil. Oh wait. We actually need this before this. We need to make crude oil. From multi-phase oil. Yeah, of course. Okay, let's do that first of all. Let's always try to balance how many inputs and up or barreling pumps we have on each side, I guess. Even if it's if it means make, mixing our inputs and outputs on one side, that is. So 
something like this. We get in the multi phase oil. Don't fill it though, empty it. And we need to actually barrel that up first. No, oh, multi phase, yes, please. Fill natural gas. Good. I think we're just gonna remove these from now. And then we need power, of course. in already. So, perfect wastewater. I think we need to actually export that. Sure, or raw gas actually. Raw gas, butthole, and crude oil. That's better. Okay. We don't need the sulfuric wastewater for anything else, right? Let's just check. So, sulfuric wastewater. Let's get it in here, I guess. Unbottle it. What do we need this for? Sulfur. Or blue algae, I guess. And nothing else. So, no, we don't want it here. So, export it is. So, furry. Waste. Waste of water. What number are we up to? Three? No. Sure. It's water. Then we already have some here. At least if we turn this in the right direction. this already I guess. Need more wagon slow. Good. Oh yeah, we should send it. So we least it's probably just one of four. Oh very gas and safari waste product in G. Okay. Next. We now have the crude oil and we have some raw gas. Maybe we should actually keep a production block to manage all of this.
So we currently have these two products. This. We need to split like that, I guess. This we need to refine in some way, which we need to figure out. Maybe we should actually take some natural gas first. I don't know. It's just hard to decide on this recipe before we know what we actually need. Base mineral oil, fuel oil, nafta. We don't need a lot of base mineral oil, I don't think. Except if we need it for a lot of lubricant. At least we don't need it for coolant anymore. Nafta is good for some stuff, like plastic. This doesn't take a lot of crude oil. But this is just so simple. Let's start with that. Also, let's see if we can put this into anything. And okay. Just need one input for this. Oops. Let's move this down to match this. This is gonna take forever, and we're not gonna get a lot out of it, but I think it needs to be done anyway. Oh, I accidentally removed this. Good. I did say I wanted to balance these, but let's just stick with this. So, base mineral. And fuel oil. And left. Put anything in there? No. Oh. Hey. Uh, how did I miss this up? Oh. This is not there. Okay, so that is running as well. We've taken care of this one. This we needed to split in a advanced gas refinery. A gas refinery, advanced gas refinery. I guess we're putting that in here as well. Just one input, right? And two outputs. It will only fit here anyway, I think. Yeah. Such a large building. Two outputs. I'm not sure if this underground actually helps, so let's just stick to normal pipe. we can do that if we want to. That should actually mean that we could fit in over here. Let's try that. We can always move back in. So 
Rocket. Okay, asset gas. And natural gas liquids. Lots and lots of stuff. So we're done with this one. Well, except that we also have everything from this. But well, we're done with that. Okay. What do we want to do with this? We can only split it into hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen fluoride, and carbon dioxide. Also, this is what we actually... Well, we import a lot of it up here. So that we can make more hydrogen fluoride, I think. Something like that, somewhere. Yeah, here. Hydrogen fluoride and hydrogen sulfide. But apparently we're low at the moment. Is our puffer farming not doing too well? It should be. Or maybe not. Oh well, this is all output blocked, it seems. Acid gas, actually. So we have a lot of acid gas. And how come these are not... Oh, we have too many barrels, maybe? Yeah, we have too many barrels. Oh, yeah, all bottles, sorry. We need more storage. Let's go and fix that actually, just while I remember. And let's make sure that we have limits on how many bottles we produce. I think this space is actually what started the whole transfer to use using bad bottles instead of pipes. And that means we could have some errors here. Doesn't really look like it though. I'm not sure how this many bottles got in this chest then. I guess if they were requested, they... Duplicate that. Is that enough then? Should be enough now at least. These shouldn't really be limited to be honest. No. How come this doesn't get a lot of barrels then? Are we on barrels? We are, we don't have enough stuff here. We don't have any iron. Do we have a train nearby? Not nearby, but we need. Actually, let's let that stay down there. It's not iron, we need a steel. Let's just go down here for more. Okay. 
So everything should run smoother here now, I hope. As long as we have enough of everything, at least. Okay. Let's leave that. It just we just need we need to make sure that it produces some acid gas for us. At least I think we need it. We need some of the hydrogen fluoride or whatever for infinite mining of some resource that I don't remember. We actually should send to some bomb more resources. <coughs> okay. So as a guess, it just has this one use. Let's do that. Yeah. Oh, I guess I thought about painting it. Let's do that. Advanced gas refinery. Can we just use normal gas refineries actually? We could have done this that for this one as well. Sure. Yeah. Let's save some space, shall we? Though it means picking up a lot of bottles, but that's just life. Let's place this down first so we don't get it wrong. That okay, let's put that there and this stuff here. Will you take that? No. Oh, not enough of this stuff, that's fine. So next... We need three gases in. No, I'll wait, three gases out. Input. That wasn't enough space. I can't count to six apparently. Input, output, output, output. Wait, what? Chemical plant. My bad. Uh, this we can move these down one time. Yeah, here. Hydrogen. What's this called even? Catalytic cracking, cracking acid gas. Okay. Acid. This. And we need some catalyst for that, okay. Input. Output. Output. And... Output. Yes, yes. Hydrofluoric acid. Oh, is it hydrogen fluoride? It's hydrogen fluoride. Okay. Hydrogen fluoride gas bottle. Yes, please. And then carbon dioxide, monoxide, dioxide, 
and hydrogen sulfide. This is okay. So that's the acid gas taken care of. If we're gonna find our way around this if we need to expand on something. But that's just life. So should we take care of we have these that we need to take care of later, so let's leave those. Then we need to find out what to do with this. Gas fractioning. Oh wait, we're actually not done here. We need the catalyst, green metal catalyst. Which also means we need an output. We actually need catalyst in here. And that's a bit annoying because we're only producing those at this old base. Though maybe we have enough actually. Hmm. Just out of curiosity, how hard would it be to put this production anywhere else if we split it up a little bit? How about iron? Well, could just make a catalyst outpost, I guess. We just need to sort for stuff. And everything we use for sorting, we should be able to import. Hmm. It's worth considering, at least. For now, I think we can just use the same old station. I just wish we could split them out into separate warehouses. Mm. It's just four different types. Of course we need to bring the metal catalyst carriers back. Time to get distracted again, maybe. I don't want to have to make filter inserters here every time and hook them up to find out if we can actually insert stuff. I'd rather just have full warehouses of catalysts. But let's just stick to this for now. We might need the yellow ones as well, but let's start with this. Okay. Let's not mix these. And then we need the carriers on this one. I wish there was an easier way to do this. There probably is, but I don't know of it. Red. Green, blue, 
Metal catalysts, full fluid processing metal catalysts. Empty. We just got this catalyst. So we should be getting those soon. And then this should work. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.